Hello, nice to see you again. In this session, we will learn how to add a new instruction into the RIS-5 simulator with uh, the control signal. The simulator itself it's, consists of three files. The main is the interface, a kind of command line interface to, to use the interpreter. The, the main processor in the second module called RV32C. Uh, it includes all the function of, of the processor of the data path, including the control. And uh, the last module consists of a function to load the object file decoding and encoding. To start the simulator, we run it from the main module. Okay, let's try. We have to uh, specify the object file. This is a sample object file of adding uh, one to five. Okay, so the, and we can say go, right? And the simulator will run until it end. To add a new instruction into the simulation, the, the first thing you have to do is to uh, encode and decode that new instruction module to do that, which is this function in the module load, uh, which is the encode the opcode. Right? The encoding of the instruction that have been prepared uh, consists of the nine instruction. And if you want to add a new one in to do it here as an example, using the and instruction that is not yet available in the simulator with the R type format. And the, uh, this encoding will disassemble uh, the bit pattern in the instruction and encoding into the internal operation code, which is used as the, uh, the name of the instruction inside the simulator. The most importantly, it is used to retrieve the control vector. Okay. So we already have a one to nine, which is of course zero as a no operation. Therefore, we give it a number 10. Okay, it's an internal use. This documentation here, right, of the read five instruction set manual, I will leave the link below. Okay, the so first thing already accomplished, right? Getting decoding and encoding into internal operation of number 10. Second thing we have to do is we have to uh, use to, to add in the new arithmetic logic operation because that is the main functional unit that perform calculation. Uh, right? You may add it here. The code that denote the, the, the operation ALU op, okay, you have to create a new one. Maybe if you want to add in a new function, then maybe ALU op uh, number eight, and then you can add it here, whatever operation you want. And finally, create a new control signal. Okay. Remember that the, the first two stages is the same for all instruction, a fetch, decode, and the last three stages dependent on what instruction it is, that is uh, execute, uh, doing the memory and write back. The explanation of this control signal is in uh, the, the other video. You can, I will leave the link there. All you need to do to add a new, add a new instruction, you have to create the new control sequence. So you add it here. Uh, this control vector is indexed by the internal opcode. In our example, we create a new instruction of the opcode number 10. So we already have here number zero to number nine. So you can add the, the last line, a new control vector here. Okay, you have to understand the sequence of, of each control signal, which 
is uh, explained in a, a separate video. I will leave the link down in the description. So this is all that you have to do is very simple. And encoding the new instruction, right? Uh, adding new ALU operation and adding in control sequence, then, then I will show you how we can test it. We will use the, the available uh, online interpreter called Venus. Interpreter, we create a few instruction, okay? So I will set the value of two register and then add them together. So we have the, the very small code to test uh, our new instruction and then we assemble it. Then we have it. We, we have a three instruction already assembled by this online interpreter. So we type in the matching code and then save it at our test object file, object file okay. in the same directory. That's all. Thanks for joining us and have fun modifying your simulator. Bye-bye.